Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be looking at the SH Figuarts Shinkocho Seho Kaizuko Sentai Go Kaiger Go Kai Red. Let's get started, uh, shall we? So he's about uh, like a 5.5 inch figure, so we'll take that as you will. He looks pretty good for you know, size and everything. One thing I really appreciate about the new Shinkocho Seho um, Engineering is basically. He has a lot more range than a lot of his teammates has. And that also comes to the fact that they're using more recent hip styles. I'm sorry to put you on the spot here, Don, but comparing an old Gokaiger figure arts to the new Gokaiger figure arts especially, you can see that they use the old ball and peg system and just Engineering from what I think 2011 compared to I think at least this year, this is a 12 year difference, which is just really nice. So, sorry to do that to you, Don, but you, you guys, these guys need new figures. So, <clears throat> started the accessories, yeah, I already put them in a little thing right here so he comes with the gokai saber it's actually a little bit longer than the old one the gokai blaster which bring back out gokai green there's like some paint differences a little bit of paint differences and i think i don't want to say it's one to one it actually probably this is more closer to the prop than this one. This one's a little bit bigger, probably to kind of scale with these guys. But, um, so then he comes with his, I guess, call sign hand that I just dropped. He comes with his call sign hand with the whole, uh, go okay, dental, like kind of hand sign. He comes with, he, in one of those hands is right here, but he also comes with two relaxed hands. Um, think okay you got this this is a gokai cellular cellular holding hand see i can't i don't know how to pronounce words um and somewhere obviously there's two so you can have you know just gokai change action anywhere you want now there is also the open gokai cellular and two ranger keys now i'll talk about that a little bit later i keep showing if that fist actually wants to come with me he has oh well oh there it is he comes with two fists if they want to stay in my hands i got i have big man hands i cannot help this he has two fists uh, let's see here then he has actually he has two remembering correct yes because i just used it he has two sword hands and then he has two gun hands actually no his sword hands right there he has i think he has two sword hands either that or one of these no no this one this one you have i assume I might just be stupid. You have Gokai key holding hands. Spe speaking of Gokai keys, Gokai Red comes with, and I guess you would say a closed Ranger key. Then he comes with two Ranger keys. And he comes with two Ranger keys specifically because both the blaster and the blade have little, 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 little tiny holes in them that you can put the keys in. I think actually they go this way because I'm stupid. So you can create or recreate the final wave attack from Gokaiger or Super Mega Force if that you know tickles your fancy. And if I can actually get this out, <laughs> so then he's just really fun so 
he has really, when I say he has a nice range of articulation, he has a really nice range of articulation. I may actually need to get out my magnet stand that I jimmied a, a metal sheet under. He has very good range. Like, look at that. That is some range. Don't fall on me. Okay, he's not falling on me. But, set that off to the side. He is just, I can't get enough of like, I don't, you can technically say that this is like a retail um, Seho because of how much he costs. He's only like, what, 60-ish bucks? He was, you know, up on HLJ, but obviously he went out of stock in HLJ. I did forget one thing though. And this, what is a really cool feature, if I figure out what way to put the hands right, you gotta twist the hands. Oh, one, one little part I like is that his arm cuffs and boot cuffs. This motherfucker got a boot swivel. Like, bro. Like, seriously. Like, can we get this with riders? Like, seriously. And, let me, I went off on a tangent there. Pop that hand in. This is one of my favorite parts because in the old figure arts, and I actually have it, I just have it in storage. The old figure arts, you had to have like an extra set of arms to, you know, cross his arms. But this one, oh, this, this one just makes it so much better because how the hell do you cross arms on, I, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I just need to figure out how to do it. More or less, he can cross his arms without swapping out parts. Like seriously, how cool is that? Like beforehand, 2011 engineering, I've been collecting for probably upwards of like 13, 14 years. 2011 engineering, we had to have separate parts for that. Shit, I think um, there's a Vegeta figure that's not that old that has swappable arm parts because Dragon Ball figures still want to use engineering from like almost 15 years ago. Aside the point, he's really, really good. And I have to clean up all my stuff. I have to clean all that up. So, but... Probably, so this video doesn't take too long. We'll get the size comparisons. Here he is with the Destroyer of Worlds, Kamen Rider Decade, and his shoulder pad just like decided to say fuck you. Here is the boy, the Desire Grand Champion, Kamen Rider Geats. I don't know what it is with newer figure arts, that they want to upsize them to be more like Marvel Legends, I guess. So now, you know, Gokai Red's like this, you know, short king, you know, and DK. So funny enough, DK is actually smaller than more recent figure arts. Aside at that point, take these off to the side. Just bring it back for a size comparison. Gokai Green. I might just be having him kind of standing in an awkward position. So now he's about like regular standing height. Then we have a Masters of the Universe Origins Roboto. Yes, he's standing upright. I can make him stand. Um, I can make him stand like the old figures real quick, just for reference. So it's a old style 5.5. I get well, would that be old style 5.5? Whatever. And then a Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. So it is that 5.5 versus 6 inch Japanese 112 versus American 112. Speaking of American 112, we have. 
a Marvel Legends, uh, it's a pizza Spidey mold, but Ben Riley Spider-Man. So this is about the scaling that you're going to get. I really think this is a really good figure. This is probably one of the top figures of the year. Like, I'm not even like overselling it. Like, this is a really good figure. And if you can get it on sale before it hikes up, because probably it's going to hike up like in the next like couple months or year or so, get it. And just get it. So, you know, I'm Caboose. Caboose said, you know me, I do the fi figure photos. I do, you know, drawings sometimes. I, shit, I used to do, I used to do the rider time stuff, but you know, I want to try to expand my platform. I want to try to do new things. And, you know, people like D, Josh, my, my buddy Reggie, you know, a good number of friends of mine, you know, they're trying to do stuff like this too. I want to try to do this. So let me know. Do you want me to do more of these? Because I have to try something. I want to. If I can do more of these for you guys and this is what you want, I'll give that to you. So, long tangent aside, this figure is awesome. If you can get it now, get it. And I'm Caboose. This is the SH Figure Arts Shinko Shoseho Kazuka Sentai Gokai Red. And thanks for watching. If you do.